in this video we're going to look at how you can take a data which is horizontally stacked like this so we have records here horizontally stacked so you can see date quantity unit cost then again date quantity unit cost and then date quantity unit cost so how do you take a data set which is horizontally stacked like this and then within power bi using power query how do you reshape into a nicely formatted table that you can use for data analysis and visualization so let's jump in hi my name is gurpreet and at bi with gurpreet my mission is to help you learn and master business intelligence especially using the powerful microsoft tool of power bi and help you build a career in data analytics and business intelligence So to get started, we need to go and go into get data to connect to our data source. So we click on get data and Excel workbook. That's our data source. So we click on Excel workbook and locate wherever your um, data source file is located. Mine is located on the desktop. Make sure you download it from the video description. There's a link included so that you can practice along and then locate wherever you have kept it on your PC or desktop so I'm going to connect to this click open and this should launch the data navigator and here we can see the navigator has identified there is a sheet within worksheet within our Excel file called data and on that there is this data sitting in there so we can see all this data so we want to now start working on this so you click on transform data and this will actually launch the power query editor this is the real powerhouse within power bi and if you have been working with data you know that the real effort goes into preparing the data if your data is well prepared you can do quality analysis on it so make sure you learn all the tricks and all the options in terms of working with data getting your hands dirty and cleaning the data so in this one we're going to look at how we're going to transform this data into a nicely formatted table okay power query what it does is every time we connect to a data source you should always pay attention to what's happening with the applied steps so what power query has done is it's promoted the headers so you can see all these dates a quantity unit cost and all those and also change the data type and we don't want to do this for now we will deal with this once we have actually formatted our data in the form of table and then we will start applying sort of promoting the headers and changing the data types for now we don't want to do that so just delete those steps by cl clicking the cross next to them so make sure your applied steps looks like the source and navigation only those two steps should be in there okay now if you see here these two columns so these are our row id columns basically so what is happening here is these values are repeated across this for all the columns so um so th we have three different sets date quantity and unit cost and these are common for them so these are like the row ids so if you have a data set which is horizontally stacked and has got row ids then what we're going to learn now is the technique that's going to apply if you don't have the row ids then all you have to do is basically select all the columns that are there and say unpivot columns whereas if we have row ids like we have then you select those row id columns and select um, under transform unpivot and say unpivot other columns or you can just right click on the columns here after selecting them and say unpivot other columns okay and that's your data formatted like this now okay next step we don't need this attribute column which has all these column names we can to just remove this column so right click remove and we have our value column and if you see here we can recognize this sort of format where we have the vertically stacked record so date quantity unit cost so you can see here date quantity unit cost date quantity unit cost and we're going to apply the same technique that we learned in the last video how to deal with this vertically stacked data so we're going to add column index column from zero make sure index column is still selected and then go inside add column standard and then divide integer the number that we want to put here is the size of the record so let me just go back here 
so the size of our record is three so we have three values in our records basically so we have the date the quantity and the unit cost one two three so the number that we want to use here for the integer division is three so enter three press ok and we have this integer division column next click back on the index column and now go to transform tab not the add column the transform ribbon and in there go standard and perform modulo operation so modulo operation basically returns the remainder of the division so we're going to divide all the values within index column with again three because that's the size of our record so press uh, enter three press ok and we have index column formatted like this now make sure index column is selected and then go to transform and click pivot column and this dialog box will come up pivot column dialog box the values column is should be the column which contains the actual data the values in our case the values column is the value column, so it's called value so select that and also open this advanced options and make sure it's changed to don't aggregate so the values column should point to the values column which contains the actual data and the aggregation option should be set to don't aggregate and then you press ok and then you can see data is kind of coming into shape now so we have our data here where we have the those row IDs and then we have an integer division column now this column we don't need anymore so you can just remove it and then we have our data column so we have the dates we have the uh, quantity and then we have the unit cost now next thing we want to do is we want to promote the headers now this is a trick part here our um, header row is not the first row so within power query you have this option where in the home ribbon where you can say first row as header so you can use the first row it has it and and most of the times you will have your first row as headers but because of the transformations we have applied our first row is not the header row so we can't use this now here there is another technique you can use for this for that just pay attention to the next few steps so first thing we want to do is we want to just see these uh, rows which contain those header rows so you want to go to any of the columns so in this case I'm going to first column and uncheck this select all and then select category and I can see those three rows which contain the headers basically next we're going to append this with itself with the same query so click on append query on home ribbon so append is basically uh, vertically stacking data so now we need to append it to same data current and click ok and then you see what happened there we have six of those because we appended attached like added those on top of each other and now make sure you don't click anywhere else and here in the formula bar you should see this table dot combine and then you have filtered rows and filtered rows now the second filtered rows we want to replace this value with the step name that was before we applied the filter for the header row so here in my case it says removed columns one so we're going to rename this to removed columns one make sure the spelling is correct is fully matching with it and once you're happy with it press enter and just like that uh, we have this on the top we have our header row so now we're going to use the first row as headers so on the home ribbon use this option use first row as headers and there we have nicely formatted headers now we still have five rows which contain those headers we don't need those anymore so all we need to do is just uncheck here the category and that way those will disappear actually so those will not get loaded into our data model so that's fine now okay I think we almost there now couple more things one is the data type so category is text data which is fine subcategory is text data which is fine the date now um, you can try doing the date here so if I apply date format you can see we get errors and for now just I'm going to remove this change data type step here in the applied steps cancel it so now you can see why that happened so basically what is happening is you can see some of the dates are left aligned some are right aligned because the ones which are right and left aligned uh, power query is treating those as text values 
whereas the ones which are right aligned it's treating those as date values what has happened is this data comes from us so the source system used the us state system where it was mm and then dd whereas my machine i'm based in uk in london so my machine is set to ddmm so basically it's having trouble converting those so we need to tell power query allows you to tell the source locales we're going to click on this and we get the drop down here to change the data type but we were not going to apply it here we're going to go here using locale and i've shown this before in some other videos as well so make sure you do that and then data type select the date data type and in the uh, locale make sure you select the English United States that's what we want to select and click OK and there we have it our dates are all nicely formatted wonderful so the next thing is the quantity which is just whole numbers and the third one is the unit cost which is currency so it's not called currency it's called fixed decimal number that's what you use for currencies so there we go all of our data is nicely formatted and next thing maybe i'll just change the name of this query as well to bike Ooh. bike sales bike shop sales and once we are happy with that all we need to do is now close and apply and after this step as we know the all the transformations get applied to all the data and then that data gets imported into power bi data model so we can look at our data in the data tab here and we can see the data now you can make further changes in terms of formatting of your data so the date we have applied the date type but we can format it the way we want to see it so i want to see it uh, in this format where is ddmm and then 4y so just select that option for the date and also for the unit cost it has automatically applied pound but i know it's not in pounds it's in dollars so i can change the currency here so we go select the column go to this dollar symbol here and select english united states and it should apply the dollars there and there we have it our data is ready for analysis that's it in terms of what we wanted to achieve in this video in terms of taking a horizontally stacked data set and then reshape into nicely formatted table that we can use in analysis. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding what we learned in this video, do leave a comment and I will see you next time.